literature with Purva. In this video, we are going to discuss the various types of fiction. As an English literature student, you must know the various genres of fiction. If you are preparing for UGC NET or SET exam, you can answer some of the questions by knowing the different types and genres of fiction. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe to it and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update. Now, what is fiction? Fiction in the narrower sense means novels, novelas and short stories. But in the broader sense, it can refer to any literary narrative that consists of imaginary places, people and events and it can be in any format, written format, audio recordings or theatrical performances. Now let's take a look at the most important genres and types of fiction. Buildings Roman. The term Buildings Roman came from the German words Bildung, which means formation and Roman, which means novel. Buildings Roman is also called coming of age novel or growth novel. In a Buildings Roman novel, the journey of a protagonist from childhood to adulthood or from immaturity to maturity is shown. It begins with a protagonist who is feeling alienated and is suffering from his or her circumstances. Then how the protagonist grows and develops into a final character through the various trials and tribulations is what the novel is about. Two classic examples are from the Victorian age Charles Dickens Great Expectation and Chandler Brown's Jane Eyre. So if you have read the summary at least of either of the novels, you know that how it begins. It begins with the childhood of the protagonist. So if we see Great Expectations, which I discussed in my earlier video, Pip was a very small child, was an orphan and he was having a really miserable life. And then there were so many circumstances in his life which tested his character. And finally, at the end of the novel, Pip found his inner peace and self-realization. So that's what a Buildings Roman novel is about. It focuses on the moral, psychological, educational growth of the protagonist. Now, a subcategory of Buildings Roman is Kinstil Roman, which is also called artist novel. It focuses on the growth and maturity of an artist. A classic example is Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. Now let's come to the next type of fiction, Campus Novel. Campus Novel is a type of genre of fiction that is set in and around the campus of a university. Therefore, it is also called Academic Novel. The story is told either from the point of view of a student or from the point of view of a faculty member. Some examples are Lucky Jim by Kingsley Amis, The Human Sten by Philip Roth, Disgrace by J.M. Coetzee. Chivalric Romance Chivalric Romance is a type of prose and verse narrative that gained popularity in medieval Europe. It tells the story of a chivalric knight with heroic qualities. The knight goes on a quest and comes across various adventures. Some examples are all the stories of King Arthur, Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, Thomas Mallory's Le Mortidae Arthur. Apocalyptic literature. Apocalyptic literature is a type of writing that foretells the supernatural catastrophic events that will transpire at the end of the world. It is a genre of prophetical writing. They are the most ancient Jewish and Christian documents. Examples are the Apocalypse of Abraham, the Apocalypse of Peter, the Shepherd of Hermes. Utopian and Dystopian Fiction Both Utopian and Dystopian Fiction are speculative fiction that explores the possibility of social and political conditions in the future. Utopian fiction portrays a beautiful and idealistic setting that has perfect qualities. Some examples are Plato's Republic, Thomas More's Utopia, 
New Atlantis by Francis Bacon. Dystopian fiction, on the other hand, portrays a dark and nightmarish setting that is characterized by poverty, corruption, and oppression. Some examples are George Orwell's 1984, The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, and Ray Bradbury's Fahrenheit 451. Epistolary Novel In an epistolary novel, the story is told through the medium of various documents such as letters, emails, text messages, diary entries, newspaper clippings, and blogs. The epistolary format gives the novel a very realistic touch. Some examples are The Color Purple by Alice Walker, The Diary of a Young Girl by Anna Frank, Pamela by Samuel Richardson. Gothic novel. The main features of a gothic novel are madness, decay, doom, mystery, old buildings with ghosts in them and hereditary curses. Some examples are The Castle of Otranto by Horace Walpole, The Mysteries of Udolpho by Anne Radcliffe, Frankenstein by Mary Shelley, and Dracula by Bram Stoker. Historical novel. The setting of a historical novel is somewhere in the past or history, and it often focuses on a single historical event. It can contain either historical characters or completely fictional characters. The historical novel attempts to convey the spirit, manners, and social conditions of that age. Some examples are War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy, Gone with the Wind by Margaret Mitchell, Romola by George Eliot. Science fiction. Science fiction is speculative fiction that talks about imaginary concepts that can be possible in the future. The common concepts that are explored in science fiction are advanced science and technology, extraterrestrial life, time travel, space exploration, and parallel universes. Now, as science fiction is speculative fiction, they can qualify as either dystopian or utopian fiction. Some examples of science fiction are 1984 by George Orwell, Brave New World by Aldous Huxley, The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenegger, Mystery Fiction. It focuses on a mysterious situation or a crime to be solved. Very often, the central character of a mystery fiction is a detective who solves the mysterious situation by logical deduction from facts. Mystery fiction can also contain supernatural elements. Some examples are And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie, The Hound of the Baskervilles by Arthur Conan Doyle, The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde by Robert Louis Stevenson and Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Picaresque Novel A picaresque novel depicts the adventure of a roguish but appealing hero of a low social class as he moves from one place to another in order to survive. These novels are realistic in nature with some amount of comedy or satire. Some examples are the History of Tom Jones by Henry Fielding, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer by Mark Twain, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain. Magic Realism Magic Realism is a type of fiction that paints a realistic view of the world while adding imaginary elements to it. It blends the real and the imaginary to create a fantastical yet believable story. A classic example is Midnight's Children by Salman Rushdie. Despite being a very realistic story, the protagonist can hear telepathic voices. Another example is 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Finally, we have come to the last term for today's video, and that is metafiction. Metafiction is fiction about fiction. It uses a narrative technique in which the work self-consciously 
draws attention to itself being a work of fiction. Some techniques used in metafiction are directly addressing the reader, story within a story, commenting on the story while telling it, story about a person reading or writing a book. Some examples are Don Quixote by Carventus, If on a Winter's Night a Traveller by Italo Calvino, Orlando by Virginia Woolf. So that's it about today's video. If you found the video helpful, then do like it and share with your friends. And stay tuned to Learning Literature with Purva. I'll be back next week with a new video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching. Thank you.